Hi everybody, sorry for the delay. I will be doing your zodiac readings um, towards the end of this month or um, you know, maybe the first or second of January at the latest. Let's see what's going on with you guys. So what does your person want to tell you? I do still have a raffle going on, so if you donate a um, dollar or donate whatever amount you want, you get a raffle ticket, and then on the 22nd, I'm going to be choosing a winner for a free in-depth video reading. Just leave your email when you donate. Okay, what does your person want to tell you? What's the current story? This energy is weird lately this month. I'm not a big fan of it. <laughs> I'm hoping, I think we're all in like kind of a transition period. There's a lot of just, um, just chaotic energy this, this month kind of wrapping up 2020, I guess. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some chaos in, in 2021 as well, but it just seems like a lot of us are kind of in this transition period right now. Okay. Can I also get a few cards just elaborating on what this reading is, is going to be? Redemption, absolution, forgiveness, pen penance. So someone coming back around and wanting forgiveness here. Reason, listening to advice, thinking clearly, intellect. So yeah, someone's going to be coming back around, but you're going to want to um, be logical about this and really weigh the pros and cons of this situation and decide if you want to give this a second chance. So I think this is a relationship that was really passionate. Um... Like the chemistry is there, but maybe there's just, there just might've been something off there, you know, like the chemistry was there, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it was trustworthy. So we've got madness, ecstatic ritual, energy release. So this could be something that you've been using um, magic to manifest, or maybe just putting your intention out to the universe and kind of calling this towards you. Um, and it could be that you're just doing general love drawing, like you're just putting that intention into the universe that you're just ready um, for your partner, for you're ready for your other half to come find you. Um, and then you might end up, all that love drawing energy, you might end up um, manifesting one of your exes back into your life. So you're just going to have to use logic when this comes in. And, and it's, you know, keep up doing what you're doing. If you're putting that love drawing energy in the universe, you know, keep putting that out there. And just when these people come in, just sort through it and, you know, use balanced logic and intuition to decide who and what is right for you. Ancient ancestry, Egypt, magical inheritance. I think that's kind of just emphasizing on the, the magical connection here or the the um the manifestation right here could be a past life connection too anything else you want to say here witness to no personal evidence to speak out so yeah it's just the cards are basically saying you know you've been asking for love and it's sometimes the universe is tricky like that it's like you ask for love and then you end up manifesting your ex you know your ex just hits you up out of nowhere but you you got to stay on that path though because it's like you are you are just putting that energy out there that you want love and so anyone that's like receptive to it anyone who's missing you or thinking about you might end up responding to that energy so it's not the end of the world if your toxic ex hits you up it just you know, think about it, be logical about it, and, and maybe get some closure there and keep doing what you're doing. Keep manifesting love. And, and you know, you just kind of have to, it's like all that energy comes in at once and you just kind of have to sort through it. It's, it's the pain sometimes, but, you know, at least you have that, that confirmation that you are on the right path, that your intentions are actually working. So we've got vulnerability and receptivity. And I make these cards, by the way. So if you're interested in any of the decks that I use here, I, I primarily use my own decks that I make. Um, if you're interested in purchasing a deck, just send me an email. Or if you want a reading, you can send me an email. My contact info is below. So we have vulnerability and receptivity here. Listening and understanding, new perspective, true love and abundance now flows to you as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery. We have sex, seduction, hidden truth, finances, and career, soulmate, past life connection, soul contract, home, safe safe space, sense of belonging, 
mutual feelings, emotional depth, a new love, fated encounter. And I have been getting for a lot of you guys that you're going to have new love coming in. Like you are going to have exes coming back around, but you're also going to have someone that you've either just met or someone that you're going to be meeting in the near future. And that person, that new love is, is probably better for you, in my opinion. Um, and then you have love offer commitment here. So you have someone that's trying to lure you back in because I keep like, I look at this character, see how she's like calling someone back in. Um, and that could be you, you know, doing this magic. Um, but I, I feel like this is probably someone else trying to call you back in. So then we have sex seduction here too. There's some sort of hidden truth. I want to get a card to clarify this here. Primal, connecting deep within, sacred dance instinct. Okay, what else? Outsider, misfit, loner, wander. I'm gonna put this. So you kind of think these all tie together here. I just keep getting the energy of someone trying to lure you back in. So I feel like someone's vulnerable right now. I think this is somebody that probably wasn't vulnerable to you in the past. I think someone that probably shut you out probably wasn't too sure about you. And I think they're coming back around. Um, I think they have a new perspective, but I kind of feel like they're still repeating their same old ways. Like they're going to come back around, but I think you're going to find out that, like some kind of hidden truth. Like maybe you thought they cheated on you and it turns out they did actually cheat on you. Or maybe the hidden truth is just they're coming in, presenting themselves as having this new perspective, presenting themselves as, you know, like I've grown, I've matured, I'm ready for a commitment but maybe they're not as ready as they're telling you they are. They're still sort of just trying to seduce you and trying to say the right things to lure you back in. I feel like part of this too is that you're more focused on your finances and career lately. You're more focused on yourself. You're not putting them first like you used to do in the past. And I think that they're feeling that energy. They're feeling that you've kind of shifted away from them and that they don't have you on lockdown like they did before. Um, so they're just sort of trying to, like, they just want to come back in. They want to pull you back in as soon as possible. And, and they might not actually be ready for you, but they're just going to pretend like they're ready and they're going to try to seduce you. Um, but that truth is going to come out, whatever it is. It could have been cheating. It could just be that they're not ready. Um, it could be that they're not as mature as they're, they're putting on a front. Like they're trying to make themselves seem more mature and more prepared than they actually are. Um, that there's some kind of hidden truth that's coming out. And I think that you've kind of grown and since you've been focusing on yourself, you can, when this comes back around, you can look at it, it from a more clear perspective because you're not blinded by love in this situation anymore. You can actually see it for what it really is and you can decide if this is something that you want to give another chance to. Um, I feel like this is somebody that could be spying on you too, could be stalking your social media because like I get the outsider energy, misfit, loner, wander. Could also be representing your person's um, personality type that they're just kind of someone that like keeps to themselves, maybe doesn't have too many friends. Um, you know, they're lonely, they're wanting to talk to you again, they're wanting to come through. But, but you're going to have to use discernment when this comes in because it's like they are, this could be a, um, a soul contract that you have that you keep repeating with this person. But it's like they're going to try to just draw you back in. Sorry, my energy is a little bit off. That's why I haven't been on for the past week. Um, getting some things sorted out though. So I, I should be back at it um, in about, you know, a few days or a week or so. Um, I am going to do your, your monthly Zodiac readings for you guys, of course, uh, closer to the, to the first. So stick around for that but but yeah I think it, this person is trying to lure you back in I feel like there were strong feelings with this person like this it could be somebody that you lived with or you wanted to live with them because I sense like a, I get like a, a feeling of like like comfortability and like sense of belonging here you know like feeling safe with each other and the mutual feelings are there but I feel like you have new love coming in as well and you also have this, this commitment. This, I feel like you have a love offer or a commitment coming in from two different people. And you might not even see it coming because maybe you've just been alone and you've just been trying to manifest love. And you're not actually talking to anybody or you're just kind of talking to people casually, but there's no nothing like legit going on. Um, and so this might surprise you because it's like you're putting all this intention out in the universe that you're, you're ready for love, that you're ready for to have someone with you. 
and it might just come flooding in all at once. You might have this, this ex coming back that you just did not expect to ever talk to again. Maybe they just kind of took you for granted and so you kind of thought that was the end of that. And then you're gonna get this surprise message from this person. Um, and then on top of it, you have, you might be meeting somebody soon as well, or maybe you've already just met them and, and you just, you know, just now getting the ball rolling with that. And so I think you have two different love offers coming in here. Anything else I want to clarify here? Chaser, Chasey, power struggle. I think that's like the past with this person, with this ex. I think it was like a power struggle. It's like you guys were just never on the same page. Um... And they're kind of seeing it differently now. It's like this happiness, warm flight. And I kind of see it as, like, it's not like teasing, but it's like this this energy. It's like you don't they don't have you on lockdown like, like they used to. And so they're kind of viewing it differently. That's part of this new perspective is that they just, they don't have you anymore. You know, it's like the, the grass wasn't greener on the other side for them. And now they're kind of coming back around and they're wishing that they hadn't taken this for granted with you. It might be too little too late though, but they are coming forward with courage, assertiveness. Um, they are motivated to get you back. They are motivated to get your attention back on them again. They know that your your attention has shifted elsewhere. It's made them sad. Hmm. Yeah, I think that they were just stagnant in the past, stagnant and confused. And now it's like, yeah, beauty, mystery, enchantment. They're just starting to starting to finally be submissive like before they shut their feelings out they were just too logical about everything i think now they're starting to be submissive to what they feel for you they're starting to open up to that um finally but again when they come through you got to use your discernment like is this going to be worth it um is this something you want let's see if we can get anything on the new person natural authentic real organic so this is something that's more I feel like with this new person, it's like you don't have to play games with them to keep your in, to keep their interest. Like you're not gonna have to lie to them. You're not gonna have to, you know, wait two hours to text them back. You're not gonna have to do any of that with this new person. They're just gonna want you for you. They're just gonna notice those things about you right off the bat that that other person just didn't really notice until after they'd lost you. Yeah, someone who's empathetic, compassionate, kind. Somebody who has a much more gentle energy than the other person is. I, Cause I get, with the ex, I get more of like a logical energy. Like there was like the passion there, like the chemistry was there, but I just get like this feeling that they were just like overly logical. Like maybe they made excuses for why they couldn't be with you or they just pushed you away or it was just never the right timing with them. Or they just focused on, you know, they just kind of had you at the bottom of their pro of their priority list. There was just always some sort of excuse with them. It's like this very, like, kind of logical, cold, guarded energy. But with this new person, I get something much more real, much more solid, um, much more consistent. You know, somebody who's just empathetic, kind, somebody that you don't, somebody who just knows what they want already, you know? Yeah, religion, there could be, hmm what the religion thing is about maybe like a strong moral code yeah there's going to be that passion there with his connection as well yeah, that's interesting we're getting the same cards again <laughs> that's weird okay witness to no personal evidence to speak out so so yeah there's just this call to like really use your intuition like don't even rely on psychics like don't even rely on these readings like you need to go inward and like meditate and really think about it and be honest with yourself about the pros and cons that you have with this ex like don't don't romanticize it just be really honest with yourself about everything and and decide if this is worth it to you Burnt by the sun, ambition, extension, reach. See, this is somebody who's like kind of burnt out. It's like they, it's that kind of gra the grass wasn't greener on the other side energy. I feel like this person took you for granted and they, I feel like they left you for like, to like move someplace else or like they left you for like another person or they left you for like a job or there was just something that they were focused on more than, more than you. Like something that just came first in their lives. You know, because I, I keep getting that energy with this ex that it was just always excuses. Like, it was always the wrong timing. It was just always, like, unbalanced. Like, you know, 
they were chasing you and you weren't into it or, or you were chasing them and they just weren't into it. It was just like you guys were never on the same page. And I feel like they just kind of went down their own path. And I just feel like it did not go well for them. Like they're, they want to come crawling back to you now. They, they regret the things they said, the things they did. They regret um, just taking you for granted. I kind of feel like for some of you, this might be someone that like lived with you or like maybe you guys lived together. Or, like maybe it was like, like you wanted it to go there. Like you were kind of thinking about the future with them. Like you were serious about them and they were just kind of, you kind of felt like it was like the right person, but the wrong timing, you know? And so you kind of just made these excuses for this person, but I don't know. This person should have been honest with you. This person should have communicated with you and put you first more. You know, even if they did have other stuff going on, it's like they still should have made more time for you than they did. Um, and they're just wanting that, they're wanting your energy back. They're wanting that familiarity back, that comfort, like feeling like they have you again. Because again, they feel, kind of feel like you've, they're trying to pull you back in here. They're trying to pull you back in. And it's like, you're, again, you're focused on, you've started focusing on other things. Like maybe you're focusing on another person or you're focusing on finances, career, just self-empowerment, just whatever you have going on in your life. And it's like this person kind of went and did their own thing. And, you know, eventually you were just so tired of going around in circles and hurting yourself and, and having it so be, be so one-sided with this person. And so you started doing your own thing too. And now they're like, wait a minute. <laughs> like they don't feel your energy anymore. They don't have their rock anymore. They don't have that support. They don't have you messaging them first anymore. You know what I mean? They don't have that all that energy that they've gotten used to. And so it's like, see, this person is just kind of like depressed. And like, you see that energy, like look at his or her face. It could be male or female, whatever your situation is. But, you know, look at this, this energy is like, look at their face. Like he or she is just like sad. They're, they're, they're burnt out. Like they, they went down this other path and now they're just, they want to go back to the past. They want to, they want to reclaim you. They, they wish they hadn't taken that for granted. Um, but again, like I said, you have somebody new coming in that might, you know, you might not want this when it comes back around. I think you really did. I think this, I think you felt like this was like your soulmate at one point. Like you felt like this was like the person you wanted to marry. This was like, this was it for you. But when this other person, when this other soulmate comes back, comes back in, or when this other soulmate comes in, maybe the, for the first time, I feel like you, I feel like you're already looking at this differently. And especially when somebody else comes, somebody new comes in and they don't do all the, the shit that this other person was doing, I feel like you, you might not even want this back when it comes back in. Any last words here? Nobility, honor, high standards, idealistic. So that's the energy I get from the new person is like somebody who's just more on your level, somebody who just already kind of gets you, you know? Yeah, eternal, internal struggle, personal challenges, wanting to improve. Hmm. I feel like it's going to be a bit of a struggle because it's like you're manifesting love and then it's just going to come in all at once from different places that you weren't really completely expecting. So I think that's going to be that internal struggle there where you're just going to have to make a really important choice. And, you know, you're the creator of your life, catalyst, maker, mother, father. Um, you know, you're going to you're going to have to make this decision. You're going to you're going to get to create the life you want. Thirst, craving, compulsion, obsession, resurrection. Yep. Someone obsessing over you and then just they pop back out out of nowhere and you're not expecting it. We have Mercury Retrograde coming up in like a month too, so I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> I feel like one of these people, one or maybe both of them are potential life partners because I feel like, I mean, maybe this other person like was your person. Like maybe originally it was actually going to go there where you guys wouldn't end up getting married and you kind of felt that, but they were just always putting you on the side and you just got tired of it. But I think the universe is bringing you somebody new because they're tired of seeing you hurt of that person. You know, you you have more than one potential life 
potential life partner. If one person's acting up and they're just doing the same shit over and over again, eventually the universe will put their foot down and they'll bring you someone new. So could be what's going on. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in a little bit with your um, monthly Zodiac readings towards the end of this month. And if you want a private reading, just contact me. Thanks.